Hello children. Welcome to the math class. Today we will discuss about chapter 4, Basic Geometrical Ideas. So children, kindly open your book, page number 77. Chapter 4, Basic Geometrical Ideas. Children, in this chapter, we will discuss about line, line segment, ray, intersecting and parallel lines, open and closed figures, interior and exterior of closed figures, angles, triangles, quadrilaterals and circles. Children, it is said that without geometry, life is pointless. Why? Let's see. The word geometry has been derived from the Greek word that is geo plus metri. Geo means earth and metri. Greek word is metrine means to measure. So geometry means to measure the earth. The need for geometry was felt when people thought of measuring their lengths at the time of buying and selling. Construction of geometry, geometrical figures along with their basic properties is studied in geometry. In geometry, there are three basic geometrical terms that is point, line and plane. So first we discuss about point. Point is an undefined term. The tip of a sharp pencil, corner of a room, the tip of a compass are the examples close to that of a point. A point is generally represented by putting a dot with a sharpened pencil on a piece of paper. Sharper is the tip of the pencil, thinner will be the dot. Here you see tip of sharpened pencil, this one, one point. And here pointed end of a needle. Children, you remember, a point is named by capital letters of English alphabets. A point determines a location. A point shown in the figure below is named as point A. A point has no length, no breadth and no height. Then comes to line. Children, if we take a piece of paper and fold it and press both sides. When you unfold it, what you observe? Here, one straight line you see. Again, we fold this paper like this. Like this we fold. Then what you see? Another straight line you observe. This one. So, this is known as line. Like this you can do at your home and see how many straight lines you form. Children, a line has no end points. It extends indefinitely in both directions. Here we noted a line with two arrow mark. Means we extend both sides. It contains countless number of points. Then naming a line. How we name a line? A line is named by writing a single small alphabet by the side of it. For example, the line in figure 1. Suppose this line is read as line L, small l like this you write. A line can be named by marking two points on it. For example, in figure 2, line A, B is a 
shown. It is read as line A B and written as like this. You write A B and put one line symbol means one straight line you draw and both side you mark arrow. The word line usually means a straight line. Line can be horizontal and line can be vertical. This this one is horizontal line and this one is vertical line. Then comes to line segment. Line segment has two end points. For example, here one scale is given here A to B means A to B one line segment. Here A to B is one line segment. Here two end points is given. So line segment has two end points and it can be measured. P Q equal to 2.5 centimeter like this we can measure. Okay. Now comes to ray. What is a ray? A ray is a part of a line which has only one end point. For example, here P Q ray you can write like this ray P Q or P Q put one arrow mark. Here ray is starting here P is the initial point or starting point. So in figure 1 ray is named as P Q ray or written as like this. A ray has one end point and extends indefinitely in one direction. Hence, it cannot be measured. For example, flashlight or ray of sun. Now, we compare this line segment, ray and line. Line segment, one number. A line segment has a definite length, but a ray has an infinite length in one direction. A line has an infinite length. Then two number is a line segment has two end points, but a ray has one end point. A line has no end points. Then three number is a line segment can be measured. A ray cannot be measured. A line cannot be measured. Then fourth point. A line segment AB is represented by like this. Then a ray CD is represented by like this. And a line PQ is represented by like this. Then comes to plane. What is a plane? Every solid has a surface. A surface may be flat or curved. Suppose this is a cylinder and cylinder has one plane surface and one curved surface. This is the example of plane surface and this is the example of a curved surface. A plane can also be named by its corner points. A, B, C, D like this. This is a plane surface. So, we can named A, B, C, D. Hence, plane is a smooth flat surface which extends infinitely in all directions. So, up to plane, children again you read at your home properly and learn which are tick mark. Next class, we will discuss about incidence properties in a plane. Thank you.